Congratulations on setting up your Paylink account. When it is all said and done, the end goal is to have a beautiful display that allows your customers to get excited for your items, make a selection, and customize their products. To get the full benefit of Paylink, I'm going to show you how to optimize your account by utilizing the tools available for your categories and products. The product consists first of an overarching category, the product name, the product description, modifiers, and an image of your product. We recommend that you first get these items organized ahead of time before entering the information. Now that you have your product information organized, let's make our first category by clicking on Categories. Click Create New. Here we're going to do a category of burgers. And we're going to add a tag, burger, comma, sandwich. And we get a sort order. So if you have several categories, which you probably will, this will tell you the placement of this specific category. If you don't provide a sort order, it will be organized alphabetically. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and put this at 40 because we want this to be our fourth one down. The next thing we need to do is add a product to it. So now we're going to click into products, create new, and name our product. Now, we have a host of various options that help us to customize this order. First of all, there's going to be the product state. So is this enabled? Um, because this is available on the test menu we're doing now, we're going to keep this as enabled. In the future, if you're planning on adding menu items and you want to get that created ahead of time, this is a great way for you to unenable or don't click that button and people will not see it in the menu. The other checkbox we have here is in stock. If you click in stock, that means you have this product. If you don't, it will still show up on the menu, but you will not be able to select it. So we're going to say this one is in stock. The next thing we have here is online ordering. We have dine in, curbside, takeout and pickup. If we don't want to have this product, this burger on our takeout or pickup menu, we can go ahead and uncheck those boxes. But we want everybody to see this one. The next thing is our description. So this gives us an opportunity to really describe this and sell this product. So for our signature cheeseburger, we have a half pound certified Angus beef burger with cheddar cheese, onions, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. You notice here that we have included everything that would typically be on this burger. Now that's important because we're gonna go ahead and have those as options to remove in the future instead of allowing everybody to pre-check those or to check those each time. Now we select the category and we're going to put that under burgers here at the bottom. We're going to put a price here. So for our sort order, this is our first one. I'm going to go ahead and put 10. And we have the POS ID. Now this is only useful if you're using a POS system directly tied to your pay link. If there is and it has an ID, you want to make sure you add that. That way the POS recognizes that this has been ordered. And we also have tags. We can put here burger. We have tax already created here in the tax category. And we're going to go ahead and select that. And now we've created a brand new product. Now this isn't finished yet because now we need to add modifiers because your customers or your serving staff is going to need to have the ability to modify this burger. So we're going to add a modifier group. The first thing we're going to do here is temperature and we can add the POS reference ID if we have one. Now this is a single choice or multiple choice. Now for this one, we're going to do a single choice and we're going to add a modifier option. First thing we're going to do is say medium and medium is going to have a price of zero dollars. The next thing we're going to do is add rare and so on. The next modifier group we need to add is the sides. And then for our first item, fries. Now it comes with fries, so that is going to be zero dollars. Now, if we happen to have onion rings, we can add that here and I'm going to charge two dollars extra for onion rings. And we also have a side salad, which is also two dollars. Now we're going to add one more modifier group and this is going to be extras. And this is a multiple choice and it is not required. So our first modifier option here is going to be pickle, jalapeno. Now a fun one, this is how you can get creative, avocado. 
because maybe they wanted avocado on their burger and they didn't want to pick the avocado burger. So when we add it here, I'm going to make this $1.50. We'll add another option, double cheese, and that's going to be an extra dollar. Another one will be bacon, and that's an additional $2. Now why stop there? Let's do double bacon. Because why not allow your patrons the ability to upgrade and upsell themselves for dollars? So there you go. And last but not least for this burger, a double patty. And that's an additional $4. So there's potential that they can add a whole lot of add-ons to their $9.95 burger. And we're going to have a remove because perhaps they don't like mayonnaise or onion. So here we're going to put in a few different options. No onion. That's zero dollars. And we'll keep going down the line. So we have our product pretty much here created. So we have all of the pertinent information that is available to the burger that we have created. Now this is not limited. We can do even more if you have more options. But for now, we're finished with this product. I'm gonna click create, upload the photo that we have here. I'm going to upload my image and we can go ahead and crop it from here. There we go, crop image, all done.